Hi everyone, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV and welcome to a new episode of Round the Corner, the show where I look ahead to Chelsea's next fixture, which in this case is Sevet. It's the second leg of the Conference League qualifier away in Geneva and while the job pretty much is half done, we still have to go away there and ensure that we put the game and the qualifying leg to bed but before we get into the video and what we can expect and what might happen who might start i'm going to take this opportunity to shout out our channel sponsors so if you haven't heard already chelsea fan tv has partnered up with foco a site where you can find all things chelsea you can find summer shirts pajama sliders puzzles different uh, little souvenirs and chelsea merch that you can put around your room hang up on your wall and there's just lots of great stuff and if you would like to get your hands on something you can get a 15 percent discount using our code cftv15 or you can scan the qr code to make your life a little bit easier check out everything they have it's pretty cool make sure that you use our code though for your 15 percent discount so yeah make sure you check out their stuff but guys, Chelsea travel away to Geneva in what's going to be a new location, a new trip, a new away ground to visit. And of course, Alex and Matt, if you don't know, are driving up there. So they'll be there bringing you the experience uh, from Geneva, which will be obviously very exciting, very great. And in terms of what we can expect, I think it will be another opportunity for Maresca to switch things up a little bit, perhaps play a similar lineup to what we saw against Servet at home in the first leg last week uh purely because he's obviously experimenting he wants to hand out more minutes i mean we've got the players for it as well so i'm sure that we'll see uh, a bit of a rotation from our wolves uh game particularly the fact that you know we're seeing players that are just kind of now coming in like neto felix who are slowly building their minutes in a chelsea shirt i think they might be handed starts but it'll be really interesting to see kind of what players he puts out there i think we'll see jorgensen in goal as well and he is someone that put on a pretty convincing display against a vet in the home fixture so yeah it'll be interesting to see uh who gets some game time it's an opportunity to see some other players get some minutes under their belt and we're gonna look to make it hopefully three wins in a row and get a little bit of a streak going because obviously we won against them beat them in the first leg at home which proved to be a little bit more difficult the game was kind of won in the second half but it's good to see that we are actually becoming better as the course of the game goes on as we saw against Wolves because that second half was absolutely electric which is a really good thing because it shows that Maresca is kind of learning and taking good notes of what's not working or perhaps what needs changing and he's making some very sensible decisions to uh, facilitate that change in the second half so it's great to see that he's getting a little bit more comfortable hopefully as manager getting to know the players a little bit and I think the best thing I mean the fact that we won 6-2 against Wolves obviously not going to stop talking about that no um is that the players just got to celebrate together and I know that's a really odd thing to kind of observe but I think it's so important that these players are kind of getting used to celebrating with each other getting used to that feeling of winning and being dominant and uh, having to celebrate and you just saw how much it meant you know even Neto and Felix celebrating together like it's just it's so nice to see that kind of positive vibe among the players get get better get stronger and what a better time than the start of the season when things are so new and changing and new players are constantly kind of coming in and out it's so nice to see that kind of chemistry build among them and and um, yeah, it's just really, really nice to see. That is another thing that, you know, we're going to have to do that perhaps other clubs don't really need to this season. Getting our players to gel and gain that chemistry on the pitch as they are in the dressing room. And it's nice to see that they get on with each other, that there's a very supportive environment. So yeah, again, that's a huge step from what we saw a couple seasons ago when our players had pretty much given up. And there was just a sense of disjoint uh, disconnection in our in our club but here we are we are making some steps to improvement and you know while it's absolutely great that we get to see excuse me these wins it is also about embracing the um the kind of progress isn't it the journey too so 
it might be a little bit up and down even still moving forward but it's just important to be able to take the game that we saw against Wolves and say okay there is a reason to have faith so yeah we travel away to Geneva guys I think in terms of what we saw from Servet I have to say I was truly impressed they took me by surprise not that I really knew what to expect because I've never really watched them before I mean I never had watched them before and I didn't know what to expect but they really pleasantly surprised me you know not only that they came away to play against a team that you know they've never really faced in their kind of history as a club at Stamford Bridge you know away they really took that game by the scruff of its neck and just were at us um had they had a bit more quality up front they probably would have scored against us and you know I don't think we keep a clean sheet so that game really did show me that we must not underestimate opposition even if people are trying to downplay the conference league and say oh yeah we absolutely should be winning while that is true we still have to credit the opposition the quality they put out and this time they've got the advantage of the home uh, fans and the home grounds and you know their fans there were not many but trust me we could hear them at the ground and they were bouncing up and down till 90 minutes and when they were still trying to do something looked pretty good so I think it will be tough they're going to definitely create a hostile environment and I'm hoping that the players don't feel too intimidated but I don't think it will be an easy game but hopefully one that we can manage quite well um but yeah it wouldn't be so Chelsea if we struggled again in this one after our um absolute thrashing away the Molyneux against Wolves but let's talk a little bit about the starting lineup because what we saw was a quite a change from the Manchester City lineup into the Servette game then it was the same going into the Wolves game and now I think he's gonna revert back to kind of what we saw against Servette purely because he has said that he'll give other players time we saw Jorgensen in goal and I say Jorgensen because I've been calling him Jorgensen but I believe from the videos that the players have been putting out pronouncing their names he said it with a J but I might need to go back and, and listen to that one again. Um, so yeah, anyway, in the in terms of defensive line, I think, you know, Vega is someone who's slowly been kind of eased in. He probably gets to start. I think he's looked pretty solid at the back, quite comfortable. And he was certainly quite impressive uh, against Servet in the home leg first time round. So I think he probably starts at the back. And then I think we'll see once again that kind of partnership with Tozin. And I'm not too sure, as it, I think it was De Sassi in the first leg. I think obviously there's some questions now surrounding De Sassi's future at Chelsea. Uh, I think the club are listening to offers and it could mean that he potentially is not going to be in the lineup or in the squad. Uh, so in that case, it might call for maybe a Fafana to start alongside Tozin, which I think is quite welcome because for me, Fafana is still another player that is kind of settling in and I'm not still convinced too much with his defensive display and I think we saw that defence is still a concern. Yes, we scored six goals, but that doesn't mean that in the first half we did not we weren't completely exploited and we weren't vulnerable on many occasions but it's great to see that we have enough depth to rotate and you know Malagusto is another player that's getting some more minutes he's obviously kind of become a first team and naturally now because Reese James is absent and until he's fit and he has really deserved it um I think midfield is another interesting one because Enzo's kind of been coming on as a substitute obviously he provided um the assist against Servet when Noni Mantueke scored the second goal and he came on as a sub then and he was quite effective so it could be a case that we see Caicedo potentially Dewsbury Hall getting a start and perhaps playing a little bit more of a an attacking lineup there um because then you could probably again rely more heavily on moving forwards playing more creative and more kind of attacking minded players you know like handing Neto a start letting Joao Felix have a start perhaps Noni Madueke as well even though he played and got as much game time as he did do you rest him do you play him let him kind of take that momentum in and obviously Mark Gee started against uh Sever in the first home leg in the first home leg in the home leg and I think it probably calls for him to start again um and I think you know you're looking at more players kind of fresh energy and obviously Enzo Mariska can make changes if need be but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I think that I'm quite positive but I am also quite reserved and I'm not taking this game as yes it's won because we showed signs of struggle in the home leg and I just think that the atmosphere and that the way that Servet play with so much intent and so much energy and intensity 
could prove to be a bit of a uh, problem for us. But we'll see. Hopefully we can round it out with a win. Make sure that you uh, tune in to our watch along. I'll be in the studio once again with Charlie and we'll be bringing to you a live watch along. So make sure that you are subscribed and you've hit the bell so you don't miss out the notif notification. The notification for that as we'll be bringing to you live coverage and live reaction as the game goes on. Make sure you smash the likes guys and as always check out FOCO as I shouted out at the start of the video. Use the CFTV15 code to get your 15% discount. I hope you have a lovely week and after Chelsea.